Damn channel. Today is Friday, September 1st. Flex Friday on price picks. Any $20 entry is protected from a three to a six man flex. Uh, so I got five good props for MOB and five for WNBA that you can choose from. A uh, quick recap of yesterday, we went 405 and 305. So hopefully we can do better today with Flex Friday. If not, go for a perfect slip. Uh, but like I said, five for MOB, five for WNBA. Uh, you pick your favorites. Uh, they all have good value. I hope you guys take them before any prior bumps as well. So let's start off with MOB, and I'm going to go straight to hits, runs, and RBIs combo. This cash for us yesterday. I'm going to go right back to it with Freddie Freeman, Ronald Acuna. I see this getting bumped to four, closer to game time. Uh, yesterday was Ronald Acuna's night. Uh, I think it's going to be Freddie Freeman's night. So I have him going over. Next up is uh, pitcher strikeouts. And the only one I'm going for pitcher strikeouts is Mitch Keller. I think this line is way too low for him. Uh, beginning of the season, he was at 6.5, 7. Uh, but at 5, he's been regressing a little bit, but his, he's trending up past couple of starts. Uh, he is going against the Cardinals. Cardinals do strike out a lot. Uh, so worst case scenario has push equity. Uh, but I think he's going to go well over 5 strikeouts. Next up is hits allowed. And there's three good props that I like in hits allowed, given the matchups. And first one I'm going to go with is Julio Urias. Obviously, he's going against the Braves. You already saw what they did at Lance Lynn. Uh, I think the Braves line, they're going to come out with the all right-handed lineup besides uh, Matt Olsen. So I think he's going to allow more than five hits. He might do better than Lance Lynn. I don't think he's going to give up uh, more than seven runs. Uh, but I think he's he is going to allow a lot of hits, especially against the Braves. So I have him going over. Next one is Zach Davis. He has a tough matchup as well. He is going against the Orioles. So I have him going over. His strikeout prop is not bad either at three. Uh, there's push equity on that. But Zach Davis is not known for uh, to be a strikeout pitcher. So I'd rather go with his hits allowed, especially given the matchup against the Orioles. And my last one for hits allowed, I'm going to go with is JP Sears. It's at 4.5. Usually it's at 5. I mean, I know they traded a lot of players. The Angels did. Or not trade a lot of players, but they put them on waivers. So their lineup is a little bit weak. And then Trout's still out. And Otani doesn't look like he's 100%. But at 4.5, I think it's way too low. I think it should be at 5. Uh, but I'm going to take it just for the fact that it's at 4.5. I'm avoiding these last past five games because usually his line should be at five or even at 5.5. I don't think they're giving enough credit to the Angels. I think they're going to come out. I think there's a lot of players, young players that want to prove and earn a spot for next season. So I have him going over five hits, taking the over. I think that's a sneaky one for value. Those are the five for MOB. So let's head on to WNBA. And I'm going to go right back to the person that cashed for us also two days ago. And I'm going to go with Cheyenne Parker. And for her, you can take her first half or for full game fantasy score. Uh, in this case, either or. Uh, they're, but they're the same. But for this video, we'll just go straight to fantasy full game. And we're going to go with Cheyenne Parker fantasy score over. Clear this board. Cheyenne Parker over. Next up for fantasy, I'm gonna go with one of the key role players and Atisha Heideman. Heideman, or sorry, how you pronounce that? Tough matchup against the Liberty, but they're gonna need her more than ever at 16.5. I think it's a little bit too low. I think she's gonna continue her hot streak, as you can see. She's been trending up. So I have her going over as well. Next up is a points prop. And I'm going to go with Bitnaija Laney. She is at 12.5. She's also trending up. This should be a good matchup. She is going against Connecticut. So I think she's going to get plenty of points. Uh, so I have her going over as well. Next up is a rebounds and assist prop. And I'm going to take a player that's been regressing every game. 
she's at 8.5 giving her regression the past couple of actually weeks now i take i'm taking her less especially given the matchup against minnesota she has uh, an aphesic collier to deal with so i think i'm gonna take her under she needs nine to beat us i see this getting bumped down to eight closer to game time so given that 8.5 i'm taking the under if it gets bumped down to eight i'll fade because you're now you're looking at push equity but for now i'm taking her the less for 8.5 and my last one is a pra points rebounds and assists and i'm taking tiara mccowan at 23.5 taking her over she had a stinker last uh, last game so i see her bouncing back in a big way especially against uh indiana good matchup for her she usually averages between 27 and 28 as far as points rebounds and assists so those are the five for wnba those are 10 good props you can mix and match for flex friday you got nothing to lose bet the max at 20. Uh, i suggest this is the perfect time to do a six man uh, so good luck pick your favorites mix and match please like subscribe and comment hopefully we hit see you guys in the next one